Okay, question number one. Henry runs up 10 flights of stairs, then he runs down 10 flights of stairs. Does this situation represent the additive inverse? Okay. Additive inverse has to be an addition problem. A couple people wrote 10 minus 10 equals 0. No. Uh, minusing 10 on steps would be you just cut steps off and you had to leap over all of them with no steps there. This question should have been 10 plus a negative 10 equals 0. And yes, adding opposites gives me a sum equals a sum of 0. Now, uh, it was kind of funny because every once in a great while somebody will put in numbers that weren't 10 and negative 10. They used the example that we had for the chapter review. Totally fine. You know the idea. Just follow with what we have right there. Question number two. Five out of six students said baseball was their favorite sport. What's the decimal equivalent? Okay. Five out of six. Slow your mind down. Five divided by six. Got to go back to the little kid land of drawing. I don't allow calculators. Sorry. Five divided by six. By six. Six is on the outside the house. You gotta fire all those elementary ideas that say the big number goes in the box. It doesn't. There's decimals in the world, kids. Put a decimal point zero zero zero. Sometimes you might even need four numbers. Now it's just a division problem. You guys don't like to divide, but that's fine. Six goes into fifty eight times. I get forty eight. Subtract out, I get a two zero. Then I go six goes into twenty three times. Eighteen. Three times, 18. Three times, 18. Bam, there's my answer. Three is a repeating bar pattern. I'm only at a minute 56. Let's go do another question. It's totally awesome. Next question. The outside temperature decreases by 7 degrees Fahrenheit in three and a half hours. How would you represent the change as a unit rate? Unit rate means divide it down to one hour, one minute, one whatever. So, all this is asking me to do is go seven divided by three and a half. Now, okay, your old textbook would have made you show ten problems of division. Here's what's think. They're going to make you show one in a word problem now. This becomes seven over one divided by crooked arrow. Three times two is six. Six plus one is seven. Seven over two. Now, Got to get your lovely voices in here. Can I divide by fractions? No. Who can raise your hand and tell me what's the big gigantic idea you have to remember about dividing fractions? And I said, you can't, dip, you can't cut a pizza again. Dividing fractions means a pizza. If you cut the pieces again, it's going to get messy. You try to dominoes the pizza, then Mueller's the pizza. Oh, that's a mess. Uh, you can't have the triangles and the squares all in one. It's too messy. Evan, I multiply by what? Multiply 7 over 1 times 2 over 7. Okay, they did a kind of nice job to you guys. The 7s cancel. This will give me 2 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. Now, once you got that answer, next one's a freebie. If it says I have a 2 degrees, well, is this an increase or decrease? Increase or decrease? It says the outside temperature decreased. So it's a negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. Now, negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit times 5 gives me a negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 hours. Now, I made every question worth 2 points. So if you notice, I drew a line through, that meant you lost both. If I only put minus 1, that meant hey, you're kind of halfway there. So make sure you got your corrections. This will be the first video for questions 1 through 3. If you get something wrong and I talk too fast, hit stop, rewind, listen again. It's totally cool.